We did number talks today, and I put up a few problems, and I wasn't looking for one specific answer. I was looking to see what strategies my students were able to find within the different problems. And then I noticed that when we decompose the five, it's the exact same problem as number B. Same exact one. So number talks is something that I learned through math generation training and I write one of the problems up and then the students sit and they have to think about the strategy that they would use to solve the problem and come up with an answer. The students talk with each other first before they share the strategy out loud to me. So when I call on someone, they've already had a chance to speak. So today we use multiplication with three factors. What do we think this final product was? Go ahead and tell me. 200! It was 200. So the first part, I wanted to get them with the counting on method. So you start at 15 and you added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 more. All right, let's see. I noticed this year we've had a little bit of a struggle with two digit by two digit multiplication. Okay, what do you think, Jen? 490. 490? Dora? 320. Wow, we have lots of different numbers, 320. Making mistakes has been fun. Just being able to have an open communication as to why people agree or disagree and what their thought process is. That happens a lot more at the beginning when we started doing number talks, is you'll hear, bring the one down, bring the two down. It's like, down where? So I know that zero plus five equals five, so then I put the five next to the two. No. no. You said next to the two. No by the two, we're under the five. No. no, under the five. We just decided that we would do daily practice with computation in order to try to build that foundation. And it's really helped just because playing with numbers is fun and it's helped build their fluency of facts just by having that opportunity every day. When we do our math lessons, they're able to take the ideas of the entire lesson and explain what it is that they're doing based on the strategies we use during number talks daily. Because on the last problem it was 200 and then it was, it, it, it's just the same thing but, but the numbers are different and but it's still equal. Wait, what? It's the same problem? I just wrote a different problem on the board. I know, but it's just, it's just the numbers are still. Are we agreeing? Because we have a lot of those turn and talk moments, they're able to process it and hear another classmate. And sometimes it's just reassuring to know what I was thinking is right and maybe someone else had the same strategy or my partner's in agreement with me and then I might be willing to share. What I like about Number Talks is that when somebody has a strategy, everyone leeches onto that because it's all about the peer influence. And so when someone says, oh, I'm breaking apart, I'm decomposing, the very next day, everyone's decomposing that number. Shirley, what did you notice? I heard you talking. I did the same thing. You did the same thing she did? So what strategy is that? <laughs> Doubles. They are hearing each other's words and they're getting it. And if they're not getting it, they will actually say, where did that come from? And so they are clarifying and they are understanding through each other's words. Sometimes teachers' words aren't enough. Sometimes they need to hear it in kids' words. I was looking at the other problems that we did and I figured out that the 25 was just the five and five put together and the two and four was just the eight split apart, yeah. As a grade level, we do feel like the number talks have helped in other areas of math. We see them transferring it more in problem solving and the fact that they can look at a problem and say, okay, I might not know 25 times 12, but what do I know? I added the four to the 20 and it equals 24. Every child learns differently and every child is remembering different things and being able to talk to their neighbor and have them explain to me how they did a problem, whether it was correct or not has been very beneficial. And they seem a lot more confident with their answers, as well as strategies to use. Because a lot of times, if one student is just like, I just use my fingers, they'll do that for a very long time, years, in fact. But now with number talks, they're like, oh yeah, I can decode. Or, oh yeah, there is a number line that I can use. We can probably um, regroup the 70. Um, we can um, change that, change the zero into a 10 and change that zero into a nine. 
change this. Thing. We want our colleagues at the next level to know that we are teaching our students the foundational skills to be successful for the next level so that when they have to apply those skills, they'll be prepared to do it. Let's try. Oh, got it. Every single child has the ability to learn and every single child has knowledge with vocabulary and they all have an idea and you just have to bring it out of them. And I want my students to know that they can do math. Sometimes they come with the preconceived notion, they will tell me, I can't do math. And so we've really gotten past those roadblocks and they know that they can do math. I would want them to know that they are very capable. They're brilliant. They're basically, I want them to know that they're brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, give yourselves a big round of applause.